What up, y'all? What up, y'all? Corwin L. Gilliams, I, King Amongst Kings, CLG Speaks. Hope you guys are feeling blessed. Hope you guys are grateful to be alive. All is well in Canaan land. You know what I'm saying? So, quick word. Um, so, as you begin to um move in, you know, the blessings of God where, you know, you there are certain places it's inevitable there are certain places that you're gonna go let me you know what let me make it let me talk earthly for y'all because i think you know i want to be of good right i want to be of good service while still being true to me so when you start moving in wealth or let's say you know you begin to increase in your finances increasing your finances to me means automatically i mean unless you're someone who I don't know. I'm, I'm, let me not generalize, but if you're like me, <laughs> an increase in finances for me means that I'm able to now enjoy certain quote unquote luxuries that I was not able to before in a financially literate way. I want, that's very important in a way that's financially literate because there were times where I was enjoying luxuries where I was not in a financial position to do so. So with the wisdom of God and with his blessings, you know, certain things come with it, such as, you know, just being able to steward his blessings and the wealth. And so in, in whatever capacity or whatever, um, cause there's levels to wealth, there's levels to increase, there's levels to, um, you know, just, uh prosperity right and so as you're moving up from your pits whatever pits you've been in for however long and you're moving up right you're rising in your finances keeping it simple keeping it earthly right don't want to get too spiritual with you guys in certain with certain things you'll find that you're going to be going to certain places you're going to be doing certain things that you couldn't necessarily do because you didn't have the money to do it right on top of that you're gonna start meeting different people and experiencing different people in these different places, right? Rightfully so, as you know, new levels, not only new devils, but new, new people and, and, and new opportunities and new goodness, right? But you'll also find in those places that you've not yet let go, uh, that you've not let go 100%, like certain areas you continue to shop in or certain areas you continue to patronize because they're like, near and dear to you right it's not like you can't get the stuff and better stuff at this point but for some reason you still go back to these places because um they provide like i said it's like you you have a relationship with these things with these things an emotional connection with these things or with these places and so you've yet to let them go completely so you'll find that when you are when you have now upgraded in life right that there are certain people who are not going to be used to are not used to someone like you whom you know you may not have transformed on the outside yet as far as like certain things about you that becomes more refined that is yet to, to happen as you continue to grow and transition into new dimensions and a new life there are certain things about you you're going to become more refined as far as how you look and just your presentation look at like celebrities who when they first started and you can see how money has transformed them right they didn't start off like that and so you'll find that when you're in these places when you're in these places you've not yet transformed so so there's still certain things about you that looks like where you came from but your pockets are talking differently you know? your your finances are speaking differently and so you'll find that there are people who may not be accustomed or used to people like you shopping in their places or patronizing their businesses or you will even find that um that that you know even if you have been transformed or refined and you may you know patronize certain places that you don't necessarily have to shop at because you know you don't have to but for whatever reason you are right those lower i don't want to say lower income or low budget places but you know like let's say like a burlington or ross or any of those you know department stores or uh buy for less stores where you can get discounted heavily discounted items and you know there's some people who you know even though they have money and millionaires they like shopping at these places that could be you so you'll find that in your refined state that there are people who that may be of your race who work in those places right they may be hispanic they may be black or they may be white you know it doesn't matter um 
because it's all our mindset at the end of the day. Um, and yes, there are certain mindsets that are common within certain cultures, but you'll find that you know it's a spiritual thing and it affects everyone across the board. And so you'll find that people, you know, they'll have a problem. They don't have a problem with a certain person talking the way that they talk, you know, in a refined way or dressing in a refined way or showing up with a level of dignity and authority. But they'll have a problem with you doing it because in their world, it's not, you know, normal or it is not common or it is not uh, a thing for a certain person of a certain race to have just, I guess, the, again, the refinement or just the eloquence, the, the sophistication and whatever else that, you know, they may have generally associated with a certain group of people or a certain demographic. That's just the world and that's just how the world is. And so the message for you is to not let prosperity, success, and these meaningless situations, you know, these meaningless uh, experiences from people who are just trapped in their own bondage, you know, as far as how they see people and how they allow these experiences to um, influence how they treat you or to influence how, period, how they influence their own lives. Because at the end of the day, you're going to go about your business with your blessings and your prosperity and your good life. And they're going to still be working in, you know, a job that they probably hate for however long. And, you know, the point is, is that you don't want to take these things personal because it's not you. It's not you that they're offending. It's not you that they're threatened by. It's their own mindset that's keeping them in bondage. You're just being someone who you're just someone who who is passing through. You're just someone who is ultimately, if you do it, if you handle the situation in the right way, you can teach them, you know, in your confidence, in your in your unapologetic and uncompromising confidence, in your in your confidence in who you are and what you, what was I going to say, Lord? Your confidence in knowing that you belong, right? Knowing that you belong and that. God has prospered you. So if God has prospered you, if God has approved you, if God has blessed you, who God blessed, no man cursed. And so you'll find that some people, yes, that's who God blessed, no man cursed, but some people can't help themselves. They will allow the enemy to use them to curse you with their looks, to curse you with how they treat you as far as customer service, to curse you, you know, um, with Genesis, you know, you know, the Lord was talking about, you know, those was telling Abraham or his people, those who bless, you know, those who bless you, you know, I will bless them. I think that's what the Lord was saying. That's what he said. And those who treat you in contempt, right? He's going to deal with them accordingly. So you have to understand at the end of the day, you know, the battle is not yours. It's the Lord. Not saying that you shouldn't, um, you know, represent. Um, I think for me, at least for me, I know like, I know, I know now that God is using me in more ways than one, but I know specifically for this message, God is using me in, you know, in a way to dismantle, debunk, um, and just destroy any type of misconceptions or ne negative connotations when it comes to race, ethnicity, and all the different types of, you know, discriminatory, stereotypical mindsets that causes oppression or have people you know oppressing others um when you're in the kingdom of god it's a tapestry right when i say a tapestry i mean god is um there is no it's a tapestry of multiple colors multiple ethnicities multiple backgrounds so at the end of the day you know god is you know your authority your anointing you know it has nothing to do with what you look like which is what the which is how the world judges people right it's, it's how you look it's the natural senses that's how they're able to exercise just their wickedness and just the fears and all the things that they do to oppress people it's how you look but with god it's spirit it's the spirit and the spirit is invisible so they could so the, so you can show up in a situation where people have a certain expectation of you because you're a certain color or because you speak a certain way or because you dress a certain way but your spirit if your spirit is strong if your spirit if you know who you are and whose you are and if you're operating in the authority and the, the, the dominion that god has given you um all of that doesn't matter you're going to shift 
immediately because of your authority you're going to shift that shift that person's mindset in that you may not change the way that they think but they're going to have to respect who you're showing up as they're going to have to respect who you want them to see you as you are going to they're going to have to they're going to have to respect who you are in the spirit ultimately right because you know you can strive and you know uh you know fight with people for them to, to to i guess to respect you the way that you you want to be respected but at the end of the day you don't have to do none of that when you when you are right in the spirit when you are full of yourself in the spirit the environment has to adjust it has to uh conform to your image and your identity in the spirit now not saying that the enemy doesn't try himself. He does try it with people. Yes, he does. He loves to try it. And so those are the times where you have to stand firm. And through discernment, you're going to know when to stand firm or when to just let it fly. There are times you will not have to let, um, you will not have to let it fly. You will have to stand firm and exercise your authority in that situation. But you will know. And how you will know, of course, is still going back to being connected and active with, your, with the Spirit of God. So that you know, you know when to pull up or when to just let it fly. Right? But don't let, don't let that be afraid. Uh, don't let that make you fearful of being great or being successful. Because, listen, they bullied you when you had nothing. They bullied you when you was just a child with nothing. So imagine when you're actually thriving and prospering and your wealth and your money and your success is showing in more ways than one. They're going to bully, try to bully you too, but it's a bullying in a different way. It's a bullying where you really have to have a level of emotional intelligence, which the Lord gives you, and he strengthens you. I don't like again so there's certain things i don't i mean i can use it you know to explain spiritual stuff like i said emotional intelligence but in the spirit it's 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 simply strength the lord can strengthen you to deal with any situations where it becomes like trivial like something that you may have you know lost your mind with in a natural state you know with the spirit of god and when he strengthens you you know against your enemies or strengthens you or strengthens you in situations that you know you would have, like I said, lost your mind. You, this, the situation becomes very small. It, you know, it, it becomes trivial and you end up laughing at situations and laughing at people. And if you're petty, like me in some, in some cases, not all the time, you know, you end up playing, playing upon the ignorance, playing upon the foolishness. But again, it's all about you being bold, unapologetic and uncompromising about who you are and who God says you are, right? Who you are according to God's truth and from where everything just falls in order it doesn't matter what the enemy does or who he uses or just people and how they allow just the sum of their experiences to influence everybody you know to influence every situation that involves a different person I think I need to rephrase that the sum of people's experiences sometimes allow them to deal with people in a general manner where you know it's good to do that like it's okay to deal with people in a general manner as far as like hello good morning good afternoon hi how are you doing greetings things like that but when you're dealing with people where there is a level of speciality or specialization or individuality you know such as um you know such as maybe going to a gym a specific gym regularly or going to a, re a restaurant regularly you know it would behoove you know the, whether it's management or the servers or whoever to get to know you because you are a regular customer you are someone who patronizes this establishment you have exhibited a level of loyalty and at this point nothing about you as far as your race ethnicity or what you look like should influence how they treat you but yet still these are experiences that people have because at the end of the day we're all paying the same money here right we're all paying for the same service and i believe it was back in the day i don't know how true this is but it, this just came to me um, where Jay-Z had, um, where it was certain rappers, excuse me, they were talking, they, they used to promote, I don't know what champagne, if it was um, Cristal or something, and I believe, I don't know if it's a rumor or if it's true, but it was said that Cristal was offended by the hip-hop culture or the hip-hop industry promoting Cristal. Like, they didn't see their brands being represented by this culture. And so, you'll find, again, don't take my word for it, but this was something that I heard repetitively back in the day now um you'll find that it's similar today like there are certain environments and certain places who in their minds they don't want their brands associated with certain people and that's fine i think 
if you've you know if you've d discovered that a business that you used to buy from or a brand or whatever you discover that these people you know you're not their cup of tea and their products weren't created for you i don't think you should patronize this business i don't think i don't care if you know you have the money or not i don't think you should us uh, you should support it but we're not talking about that we're just talking about just you know just regularly in life like as you're growing as you're flourishing as you're prospering as you're going from levels to levels when it comes to pros uh find wealth and and fine and finances you know as you get more you know especially like i said coming from where we come from you know you want better things you want to enjoy the finer things in life and if you can why not right and so as you do that like i said you are going to experience you know new environments and sometimes it's not even it's not even a thing of people you know coming at you crazy sometimes it could be your own mindset or your own insecurities based off of where you grew up you know going to certain stores when you were when you didn't have any money or when you know when you was really broken you know feeling or having these experiences of like being watched like for me i remember i was stopped one time at bloomingdale's when i was in high school like they they literally followed me into the bathroom uh into the into the into the uh into the fitting room like peeping up under the um under the um the fitting room doors because th those doors they had like uh they were like shelves and so i was able to they was able to um look up to see like who is in there and i saw the person's face i saw the individuals the to the two of them it was a hispanic and a black guy and i looked and i saw their face looking up um through this through the thing through the um through the door and i was so offended y'all i was so disturbed and almost traumatized by that situation because i felt like how dare these people that i actually i'm gonna pay money for you know what i'm saying when it comes to making a purchase how dare you know what i'm saying they come here and treat me like i'm a thief or like i'm someone who's about to scam or whatever but again that's just people that's just the culture that's just the mindset that that you have to deal with when it comes to people and it's it has nothing to do with you you know what i'm saying it has nothing to do with you you just have to make sure that you are just um just secure in who you are secure in your identity secure in a in your confidence secured in you know just who you are right and and why you're there in the first place who who like i said in the beginning of this video who blessed you who gave you the increase who who gave you the authority who gave you you know i'm saying everything that you have to spend and do as you please so with that being said my beautiful people um that's the end of the message um don't get don't take it personal you know these people are just living according to their small mindedness they're living according to you know what i'm saying um just the things that they were told and taught you know i was having a conversation uh the other day about you know just the media and how the media is training children to perceive people a certain way so like with the black lives matter you have situations where um you know people who may see the destruction and the chaos and the riots with the black lives matter situation and have or develop an unhealthy fear or a fear period when it comes to black people or just you know the, the labeling of black lives matter right just associating it with black people and them taking that fear on and using it in how they interact with people of other races or how they interact with people you know what i'm saying who um who the media is saying you should be afraid of right and so you don't again it's just a lot it's just a lot it's not just it's so deep y'all it can get even more deep and it's it's you know but i don't want to get into that right now with this video um so yeah so just you know enjoy your blessings do not despise your blessings if god is blessing you you know what i'm saying you're gonna have haters like it is what it is like it's all a part of darkness trying to get you to sabotage yourself and sabotage your blessings and to forfeit your blessings and to hate that god has blessed you in, in ways that you don't even know you're hating leave that alone enjoy your blessings and if you if you if you can bless them bless your enemies bless those people who you know what i'm saying who least expect it right and enjoy that and 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 and, and continue to thank god all right y'all um that's it talk to y'all soon talk to y'all later